Um, I don't even know how I want to start this right now. <laughs> I was planning on having this crazy big reveal, but I just don't really feel like it anymore. I just kind of want to casually slide in, so. Chop my hair off. This video is just me kind of showing you guys. I'm also in my childhood bedroom. I am back home in Oregon. My last video, I was driving around Oregon, having an episode and just needing to scream. It was cute because that night I literally came home and just cut my hair off. You know what, to be fair, my hair was already short because do you remember when I burned my hair off from the bleach? I bleached my hair at the start of quarantine and I also became a gamer for no reason. Yeah, so a lot of my hair burned off from the bleach because I didn't know what I was doing. And this length is just it growing back, like especially the front pieces. When I took my extensions out, the back pieces, only like a few back pieces were long and then the rest were short like this. So it just looked like I had an actual mullet. And a lot of y'all in my comment section have been telling me to cut it short, so. It's never been this short in my life. I feel weird, but I think it's kind of cute, kind of a vibe. I feel free, but then I also feel like a mom, kind of feel like a soccer mom. And also my long hair was kind of like my security blanket in a way, kind of makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And now I just feel so vulnerable and I feel exposed, but it's kind of nice. But yeah, I just wanted to let my hair heal. I did not film me cutting it because I was just in Katie's bathroom and I saw a pair of scissors and I just literally did it. And it wasn't even, it wasn't good at all. And then Katie's mom the next day took one look at my hair and she was like, let me freshen that up. I don't know why I just didn't wait for Katie's mom to do it, but I was having one of those nights. So I'm really happy with it. This is my hair. So the main reason why I wanted to film this video is because I am so freaking excited for this weekend. And if y'all don't know what this weekend is, it is Joy Cella 2, the virtual Zoom event that me and my life coach Joy are putting together. And y'all, I just really want you guys to be there. I really do. Like this is something that I've been working very hard on and something that I'm actually really passionate about and excited about. And I really saw how the first one that we did a few months ago really helped so many people and changed their lives. I'm just so excited that we're doing it again. And I think that a lot of people just weren't sure what the event was. And so I kind of just wanted to explain a little bit more in detail what we do. Cause I've seen a lot of people being like, do I have to be a singer? Do I have to be an artist? No! Everybody is an artist in their own way, baby, but you don't have to be a singer. And also I saw a lot of comments being like, is this kind of a cult? Y'all, who do you think I am? So many people were like, this feels culty. No, are you kidding me? It is not a cult, but basically Dr. Lisa Brewer, she is a healer, she's a meditation teacher. She is just one of the best people ever and she's gonna be there all weekend doing guided meditations. Um, we're gonna have a lot of guest speakers. My, I still lost my voice. I'm getting my voice back. But um, the teachings are all about how to step out of your comfort zone and step into this zone called room B. So you got room A and room B. And a lot of people live in room A. We like to use the metaphor of hanging mirrors. So you're sitting, say you're on a stage and you're looking out at the audience. But when you're looking at the audience, all you see is hanging mirrors. Like you're just looking at yourself from everyone else's point of view. Constantly thinking in one wondering what everybody is thinking about you and assuming that everyone is thinking about you all the time. I've struggled with anxiety since I was a little kid, but a few years ago I was struggling really badly with social anxiety. Every single time I was out and about or like at a party or just hanging out with even friends, 
I would be sitting there and be constantly just like looking at myself and like making sure that I'm being cool and like normal and funny. I put like a lot of pressure on myself. I struggled with that for so long and I was kind of just looking for different ways and methods to cope with it. I was also looking for a community of people that understood what that feels like. Then I found Joy, my life coach. She was speaking at one of the classes and I just sat in and listen to her speak and I've been working with her ever since because her entire life's purpose is to help people break out of that shell and constantly in the flow and in the center of yourself completely shining outward you're not concaving inward you're not like uh I have to close myself off or shut myself down in order to make myself smaller and in order for other people to feel comfortable so that's room A and room B is just the concept of being. Basically what Joy Cella is, is Joy has these teachings, interactive workshops that we do to help you get out of room A and put yourself into room B. I'll be honest, it's uncomfortable at first. And a lot of people were really skeptical about it. It's the first one that we did. And it honestly felt like we were at summer camp and everyone was like, oh my God, what is this gonna be? But then once everyone got into the flow of things and figured out how it worked and we did some meditations and calmed ourselves down and did a lot of these interactive workshops. We put you guys out in breakout rooms and you guys do certain little challenges with each other. Y'all became best friends. Y'all had such amazing spiritual transformations and everyone got to see it. I'm there all weekend. So y'all get to hang out with me. Last time I shared a huge story that I never told anybody about. Um, it was something that happened to me and I really felt comfortable enough to share. That was really healing for me. And I just cannot wait to like have that community again. And a lot of people got to share their stories. It was just an amazing time. I'm just really looking forward to this happening again. And there's gonna be, ugh, Harry Styles producer his, from his first album, Alex Salibian. He's gonna be guest speaking again. He was a speaker last time and now he's doing it again because he loved it so much and he's so talented. And he's gonna share his story about breaking out of room A and going into room B and building that confidence to work with Harry Styles. Like, what? Ah! So he's gonna share that, which is so exciting. I cannot believe that he's willing to be a part of this. He's just amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to hear him. And also we, <laughs> we have little dance breaks in between the days. So say we just had like this really intense workshop, right? And everyone's feeling like emotional, but everyone's feeling good, but it was still kind of like emotional. Kenya Clay, she's a choreographer. She worked with Janet Jackson. She worked with Britney Spears. She worked with so many people. She just comes in there. We got DJ Flossie on the DJ booth and DJ Flossie turns on a song. Everyone gets hyped up. Kenya Clay's like, all right guys, vibe check. Everybody get up and everybody on zoom just gets up and then Kenya Clay just makes us all move we play some good music and everyone's feeling light again and then after the little dance breaks we go back into another workshop I'm so excited it's gonna be better than the last time Joy and I know what we're doing now like the first time we were like okay we kind of know what we're doing but since we've never done this before what's gonna go wrong oh my god but now we know what we're doing and it's so put together it's so organized and I'm just really excited about this and what I do also want to say on the video of me talking about my diagnosis with Hashimoto's I mentioned the price of how much my treatment costs and I saw a lot of y'all being like let's set up a GoFundMe and I've been seeing some things online of like people actually starting a GoFundMe to help me with my treatment and although that is so nice and so sweet and I appreciate that so freaking much, what I ask of y'all, instead of doing that and making a GoFundMe, buy a ticket for Joy Cella, bitch, because not only is that gonna help me out, that's gonna help you guys out, seriously. Like you guys are gonna get so much out of it and I would rather you guys do that and support me in that way than, you know, just make a GoFundMe for that, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to s sound like 
I'm not grateful for that, but I'm just saying like for me personally, if you do wanna help me in any way, it would be, you know, coming to this amazing event that I'm putting on. That's, oh my God, it makes me, I'm like beaming. I, I beam with joy just thinking about it. Eh, joy, Jella. But um, please get tickets, y'all. Like, y'all better scroll down, go to my description, and please buy a ticket if you can, like, this weekend. Um, it's both days, Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna be performing on Sunday night. I'm gonna sing an original song, and I'm also performing two other songs, too, so you guys get to hear my new music. First up, y'all are the only people that get to hear it, and it slaps and we're gonna have a fun time. And we also have other performers too. Um, and Joy is gonna perform. She has the voice of a fucking angel and her daughter is gonna be performing. And it's just gonna be a night filled with fun. And it's just a beautiful community and you get to meet so many cool people and make so many friends. And you get to join our little Facebook group that we have. Okay, now it kind of sounds like a cult, but I swear it's not a cult, okay? Y'all don't have to like follow any rules and there's no master, okay? It's not a cult. Look up the definition of a cult. It's a cute little community that just wants to lift each other up and share our hearts with each other. If you are a singer, you get to perform, or if you write poetry, or if you just literally have anything that you wanna share, you can share it. I'm very excited. If you guys want more details, please click the link in my description. Get a ticket. It's gonna be really amazing, and I cannot wait to see you guys and hang out with you guys all weekend. You only have a few days to get your ticket, so get your tickets and hang out with me, y'all. We're gonna have the best freaking time let's party bitch we're going to summer camp we're going to zoom summer camp zoom summer camp and i have short hair buy a ticket damn it my monkey says buy a ticket buy a ticket come on y'all it's fun we're gonna have and okay really quick before i go a lot of y'all talk about the price why it's so expensive because it's all weekend long saturday and sunday there's so many dope speakers that are gonna be there it's so life-changing like it's seriously worth it and i'm not just saying that i'm gonna show this little video of the girlies who went to the last one and how it helped them just watch this video if you guys are on the edge or if you guys are still deciding if this is something that you want to do here's some testimonials from some girlies who I love and adore who went last time and just hear what they have to say. I love you guys so much. I'll see you this weekend. Bye. Life-changing, belonging, transformational, powerful. It was so good. Sarah Baskin, I want to help you get back into action. A very intimate, powerful journey that every single person is on the ride for. And it impacts every single person individually so different. But as a collective, you just feel this collective healing, I think. When I first heard about this event, I had had a conversation with my dad that day about why I don't sing more, why I don't post more videos of myself singing, why I don't put myself out there more. And I couldn't explain it to him. And then I saw um, Sarah's announcement on her YouTube channel and I was like, oh no, this is exactly what I need right now. And she starts talking about like, do you want to get rid of perfection paralysis, social anxiety, intrusive thoughts? And I'm like, check, check, check. Let's go, sign me up. My favorite YouTuber, all of the things I want to work on, 
it was like made to be. As soon as I saw the announcement for Joychella, I knew I had to be a part of it. It sounded just right up my alley, me being an artist and just everything about it sounded like something that I just needed to do. I had like some anxieties cause I wasn't sure, you know, what it was gonna be like. Um, but as soon as I joined, it was like the most amazing atmosphere. We were able to hear a little bit of Sarah Baska's story and you know, I was able to really connect with somebody who I've admired for so long. Before Joychella, I was really afraid to take the leap and kind of step into my own light, to be my raw vulnerable self, to show my quirks to the world. I had a lot of social anxiety. Something about that weekend just opened me up. The courage that everybody else was showing really motivated and inspired me to be courageous in my own self. I've been living in fear for so long and I think that's the biggest thing that's held me back in my life and held me back from finding my own voice and sense of confidence and ultimately that's what's keeping me from, from finding this direction in life that I've been looking for. And so I went to Joychella and I don't know why it was so surprising to me but, but a sweet surprise how supportive and positive and inviting and loving everyone at the event was. It was over Zoom, so how, how am I supposed to feel all these things and everything's digital, but the energy that everyone brought to the event was just so heartwarming and wholesome and it made me feel more alive than I have felt in a really long, really long time. The experience just completely blew me out of the water. Like, I didn't know what to expect. The pandemic was really isolating for me. And, you know, it helps me find a community of like-minded people. Like, that's all I've been wanting. Everything Joy was helping me with, the questions she asked really helped me dig deep and find what I wanted from this experience. And sh the way she just listened to me talk about everything I was explaining, the way she listened to my goals, my fears, everything, and kind of reiterated it to me and helped me through it, I was in. I found Joychella at the most amazing time that I could have. So I signed up, I was nervous, but excited at the same time and then immediately when I logged on to Zoom I saw everybody in their little square and it was almost like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. I instantly felt just this wave of support and love. It felt so fun and freeing to take control of my emotions like that. I am on cloud nine still and it's been two months y'all. Come to Joychella too. Push yourself. It's uncomfortable but growth does not happen in your comfort zone, baby. 10 out of 10, 100% would recommend to a friend. I've always imagined I couldn't have this feeling inside of me, this fire. Joy Cella, the mastermind program, this community surrounding you, they all help you find your fire inside. And that is worth it, you guys. That is so worth all of it. And I can't wait for you to experience all of this because it is life changing. It really is, you guys. And I'm excited for you to be here with us. I'm so excited for more people to experience her joy because she has just brighten my soul up. Joy, thank you so much. You've given me this new purpose in my life. You have brought back that love for life in me and I'm just forever grateful for that. Everybody who attended, like we're all looking for the same thing. We're all looking for that connection, that kindness. We all want to express ourselves. We want to flow. We want to be positive and everybody there encaptured that and it was really amazing to be a part of if you're thinking about going you should just do it starting me on this journey where there's just there's no going back for me it's forward i would 100 percent say just go for it it's so worth it like that was the best best decision i've ever made in my entire life it's just gonna help so many more people and i can't wait for joy cella too and seeing everybody's new faces. I'm so excited. Everyone that came into that space was so instantly relaxed by the atmosphere. They heard the music, they got their bodies moving, they got to see all these other smiling faces in the little squares on the Zoom call. 
and it didn't take hours or days. It took moments for them to just stop being afraid and to just participate. It was miraculous. One of the best weekends of my entire life. That what I helped put together with Joy was like actually making change in these people's lives. It was just a completely different experience and it was almost like this is what I was meant to do. Like this is what I want to do. You're waiting on the sidelines of your life instead of getting in the game of life and playing. You're all out there hiding when you could all be out there loving each other, loving yourselves and changing the world. That's what we want to do with Joy Cello.